Hey everybody, DarkVise88 back again after nearly, it's been about a month actually. Real sorry, yeah, just crazy stuff happening, but I've just been so all over the place and didn't have a lot of time to, you know, get some new movies and whatnot. But I'm back and it's been a month, uh, I got a lot of stuff to show you, some DVDs, some Blu-rays, some anime, a little bit of it. A lot of comics, some good stuff. But first, I want to show you two. I want to show you two new additions to the figurine collection. We have a uh, Kuro Neko from Oriimo. My little sister can be this cute. I bought this back in late June, and I just got this yesterday. It was a birthday gift. Uh, the Play Art Square Enix figure of Kazuhiro Miller, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, badass. I'm gonna be cosplaying him for AAC. Uh, all that's left I need to get are the. The belt, the BDUs, the scarf, and the holster. I mean, guns you can worry about later. And the boots. I won't be doing the weird gimp mask or anything, but I have some kick-ass shades. So, yeah, pretty happy about it. Oh, boy. It's, uh, what's today? It's the July ooh, 21st. Wow. Oh, yeah, I also saw, recently just saw Pacific Rim. Awesome movie. Awesome, awesome flick. So, let's get started. Uh, let's start with... Okay, let's start with video game. There was only one, well, not true. I, I bought over the PlayStation Network. I picked up, besides a bunch of stuff for Injustice and a Deadly Premonition costume, I picked up Walking Dead 400 Days, which was fun. Uh, Al American McGee's Alice Mass Returns, and I'm playing American McGee's original Alice as well. And uh, this I picked up when it came out. I reserved it. Uh, the Deadpool game. It's not bad. It's Honestly, this was this is a rental. I feel bad I spent 45 bucks on this. It's, you know, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny to play these Deadpool, but it's really just a straight-up brawler, and they really could have pulled more from Deadpool's universe and his cast characters. There's no Man Ray, there's no Bob, Agent of Hydra. There's really, you know, they have Psylocke and Cable and Domino and Wolverine. I don't know how Rogue fits in, but... And Mrs. Sinister is the villain for some reason. Honestly, it could have been better. It's, if you find, if, they, if this drops to ten bucks, I would say pick it up, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, let's move on to comics. First up, we have Avatar The Last Airbender, The Search Part 2. Storyline's heating up. It's getting really fantastic. Great artwork, uh, great characterization. It's really a tribute to the old-style Avatar, but it brings in a lot of new elements as well. Uh, highly recommended, as well as The Promise. I I was go I have The Legend of Korra Blu-ray on reservation right now. I'm still waiting on it. It's driving me insane, but you know what can you do sometimes? Let's move that over there. And uh, next up... We have Volume 18 of The Walking Dead, uh, What Comes After. Storylines, the storyline's heating up in this one as well. Negan's, Negan's an okay villain, not as good as the governor or anything, but still. You know, it's, it's, it's still your standard zombie series, but it's really, the humans are coming more into the focus now. It's still, you know, I still pick it up when it's out. It's still fun. Uh, next up, I picked up uh, Batman the Private Case book, a bunch of short, one-shot short stories, and then it also has a... Uh, Resurrection of Ra uh, Resurrection of Rachel Ghoul uh, ending as well. That was epilogue solves the plot. Uh, Paul Dini and Dustin Nguyen and Derek Fridolf. But these two Dini and Nguyen, they're great writer artist team. And this is a I found this for ten bucks and it's really worth picking up. They're just a great. They know they're Batman. Fantastic work. And finally, got a classic uh, Superman. Whatever happened to the Man of Tomorrow Deluxe Edition, which conclude which includes. What happened to, whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow, uh, The Jungle Line, and For the Man Who Has Everything. Great Alan Moore storylines. Really great job with super, super sending off the Silver Age Superman. Worth checking out, especially if you buy this or if you buy the complete collection of Alan Moore tales. Alan Moore is a great, he's a great author. He knows his stuff. Uh, next up, we're moving on to the uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. Sorry about that. I was just thinking, was there anything else I missed? No, we're good. You can look at the table later. Uh, first off, we have Beavis and Butthead Do America, Special Collector's Edition. Found for five bucks in FYE when I went up to uh, North Adams a while ago. I picked it. I actually sold my old copy, but I wanted a new one. And it's still it's still a really funny movie. It's Beavis and Butthead. What can you say? Very funny stuff. Uh, next up, we have, from courtesy of Bull Moose, uh, Porco Rosso, Miyazaki film. Haven't seen this yet. Really glad I picked it up. Can't wait to see it. Very excited to see some World 1 fighter action. And next up, pick this up as well from Bo Moose. Uh, Wrist Cutter's a love story. I have n I heard about this years ago. It's a pretty good cult film. Uh, it's about a 
people who commit suicide, they go to basically purgatory. And I'm really interested, interested to see how this concept plays into this movie. So, really excited. Next up, finally, we have some Blu-rays. From North Adams, FYE, we have Ninja Assassin. $10 of pure unadult. It's, it's half bad action movie and half workout video. That's what it is. It's, it's fun if you want to sing a stupid action movie to just, you know, watch on the weekends. It's pretty funny. Uh, next up, we have The Hurt Locker. Picks this up for 5 bucks. FYE. Great war movie. Great movie overall, in general. It's, where if, it's as good as Platoon, actually. Very powerful stuff and very intense during the bomb, seg the bomb defusing segments. Great movie. I can see why I won Best Picture. Uh, these two are from FYE. I bought them at different dates, but they're just really awesome. Universal has been, has been putting out these comic book uh, limited edition steel covers of some of their Blu-rays into Blu-ray DVD combo packs. And we have Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. You love these comedy movies. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are the best in them. And the best part is, too, uh, World's End is coming out, I think, this month or next month. And that will complete the so-called trilogy of these movies. But, you know, I do have the DVDs of these. I have a full frame of this, and, I'll, and the original widescreen one came out in 04. So it's good that I replayed that I got a chance to replace these two movies for Blu-rays. And next up we have uh, Rise of the Guardians. Everyone says it's a fun movie. Uh, can't wait to check it out, see what it's like. Uh, interesting voice cast, because it has, uh, I think, Adam Baldwin, Chris Pratt, and Hugh Jackman are in it for some reason. But it'll be fun checking out the uh, these... Uh, his, these, you know, myth, mythological figures of children's lore coming together and fighting guys. Pretty awesome. And then finally, pick this up. Really happy I did. Uh, the Star Trek Motion Picture Trilogy. It's a, a basically, it's a Blu-ray compilation of the, of Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock, and The Voyage Home, which was their own trilogy from, in the 80s. Glad I grabbed this. I can't wait to watch them. I've, Wrath of Khan is one of my favorite movies, favorite sci-fi movies of all time. I haven't seen Spock or Home, so it's worth checking out. It's got all the features of the original Blu-rays, as well as uh, info on it and a make-your-own IQ game. I mean, trivia game, as well as info on the characters. And that is, that is my uh, update. Hope you all liked it. Uh, expect more soon. And uh, heads up, there's an FY event at the Pheasant Lane Mall in Nashua, August 4th at 3.30. I'll be hosting a trivia game and a costume contest. Uh, August 24th, I'll be at the... Uh, Summer Matsuri from AAC in Manchester. Uh, 28th, I'll be at the Granite State Comic Con. And 18th through 20th, I'll be at uh, AAC. So until then, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video. And you take it easy, everybody. Peace out.